Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's Friday and we are changing baby Harry out of his little Christmas outfit about time, right? Um, so we're gonna change him today. And I'm gonna change him into this nice warm fleece snowflake sleeper. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fantastic. Um there's his cute little green shoes. I love these so much. I don't even want to take them off of him, but that's what I gotta do, right? So we're gonna change him and maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll just go with the flow. Because that's kind of what I do anyway. Uh, go with the flow with things. And this is Harry Potter. This is He, when I ordered him, he was a custom made for me, and I love him. I really uh, love him. So, like I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. In case you guys do not know, if you're new or anything like that, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, and I know I wanted a Harry Potter in my collection, but the way I got him from, he doesn't have, and I'll show you in a minute when I strip him down. I'll, Bring him closer so you guys can see him. Sorry about the dog in the background. Um, he kind of doesn't have much coloring. I would have liked him to have a lot more coloring and more shoes. Can I bring him closer? So, I'm not sure if you can see, but he doesn't have much coloring at all to him. I like the mottling and all that veining and all that other stuff. His face is cute. I love it. And I love the little scar. The only thing I don't like about him is, like I said, he needs, to me, he needs to be more, have more color. Oh, sorry guys, I can see y'all. Tripod, sorry. He needs more coloring, so I would change a couple things about him, like his hair, because I wanted him to have straight hair to look like the baby Harry Potter. And they gave him wavy hair. And also, like I said, with the coloring, I would have liked him to have more coloring. But, I can't really change that, you know? And I don't, like, I do love him. I do. And it's not like I don't bond with him, because I do bond his, with him really well. But, there's little things that I would change about him. I don't, and that's the subject I want to talk to you guys about after I'm done changing him. So, let me get him changed. And we're going to turn this into a changing slash chit chat video like I always do. I always talk so much in my videos and I do apologize for that but you guys know me by now. You should know that I like to talk <clears throat> about everything I can think of. Um, anyway, so I have a little discussion that I want to talk to you guys about and I might even add this thing to him. There he is. He's looking super cute guys. And I'll make sure like I take lots of pictures of him because he's so cute end of the video so matter of fact I'm just gonna probably hold on I just the camera went sorry guys I'm trying to fix oh gosh sorry I'm trying to fix the try but hey guys um this is a very short video today that's why I want to add a question in here for you guys I want to know um are you picky with, with when it comes to reborns or any dolls at that? Are you picky about what your doll look, you know, like, okay, say you have a reborn. Are you picky about like the weight, how much they have to weight a certain amount or do you have to have certain coloring, certain markings? Let me know. I'm going to tell you this from experience. I've been in this reborn community for well, years and years and years. Like I said, on and off YouTube, this is, last year was the first year I actually got really really into YouTube um, because I really didn't put myself out there as much as I did this past year so anyway um, for me I became pickier as the years went by and as I got more and more into the reborn I found things that I actually liked more so then that started to change how I love my rewards. I mean, I love my rewards, 
the ones that I have, but over the years, if you follow me for a while, you know I had a lot of different types of dolls. I had like the Gemma Kid, um, and I really, really loved her, but then over time, like, she did have ball patches in the back, and that didn't bother me at the time. I loved her very much, and I do regret not keeping her and just getting her, like, rooted more, but anyway. So I want to know, have you changed? Have your um, likes and dislikes changed in a reward? Let me know in the comments because for me, yes, like I said, um, I'm thinking about hair. My Gemma kit actually had um, a mixture of hair painted and painted hair, but I'm not really a fan of that. I'm more of a fan of rooted hair. And I like a lot of modeling, just a lot of detail. That's what I like with my, I mean, some people like their reborns very pale looking, not too much detail. I love the details and I love the, the rooted eyelashes. I think that's the most realistic and that's going to be another subject that I'm going to be talking about tomorrow on my channel. Um, so I do have a chit chat for you guys coming up. So here's baby Harry. I'm going to let you guys go. So don't forget to answer that question. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Look at this.